key is another shiny face, like the uber shiny face. He has been doing some laps. He's got a sweat going. So yeah, not not my favorite hit. This one, this new, this this two pack for a reduced price. I think this is my favorite head. Looks great. Nice. Hello! Today on the channel we're going to be unboxing Phase 2 Clone Trooper and Battle Droid. This is a two-pack from Star Wars The Black Series Hasbro. Yeah, um, pre-ordered this one. I thought it would be a pretty cool army builder. Um, it's about $5 cheaper than most two-packs, and I think they did that because it is just a great looking uh, troop builder, but the box is tiny. Like, the box is definitely not for display. Um, yeah, so I guess they knocked five bucks off to throw it in a very cheap uh, packaging. So, I don't know. I think that's fine if they want to keep knocking money off, and as a, me being a loose collector, if they want to do some of these troop builder packs, with cheaper packaging and drop the price that that works for me if you go on uh, the Disney store online it's actually ten dollars cheaper than a normal pack so it's actually thirty nine ninety nine for whatever reason it's thirty nine ninety nine on uh, disney.com so the Disney store they also have the other pack the clone the clone pack with the purple clone and Mace Windu with his uh, Jedi armor a little bit of Jedi, Jedi armor I think but they have those two sets right now um, and that one's 45 and it's usually 50 so it's like they're dropping five bucks off their price on uh, Disney.com shop Disney so Disney store so yeah if you want to pick this one up I would suggest try to get it from the, the Disney store you just save another five bucks get this for 40 um, that's that's pretty cool see I pre-ordered mine from Hasbro Pulse and didn't realize the Disney store had for five dollars cheaper but oh well it is what it is uh, just super happy to get another Clone Trooper, Phase 2 Clone Trooper, and Battle Droid. Alright, that long rant, spiel, talk, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what I do on this channel. <laughs> I move my mouth and hopefully people enjoy what comes out. I don't know. I hope. <laughs> that was the front. There's the back. Same exact artwork. A little teeny tiny box. There's the side here. I'm trying to think. I've got... I don't know, let me, you know, let's do this first. Here's the other side, and I'll show the top and bottom, and then I'll kind of compare it to a Galaxy Artwork box, so you can see how small it really is. The top has, instead of just being black though, it has the Black Series logo, which is pretty cool. The bottom is barcode legalese. If you need that barcode, I'll kind of zoom it in. There it is, right there. But yeah, so size-wise, here is, I've got a, I've got a Hunter here I need to get unboxed. There he is compared to Hunter this box compared to that. So I'm going to pull back and kind of tilt up. So you can see how small this box really is. I mean, even thinner than a regular Galaxy artwork box. So, yeah. Gotta get this Hunter unboxed. I don't know. I've seen the price on this. It keeps going up and I'm like, Ugh, but I gotta get it unboxed. It'll happen. It'll happen in May. It's definitely gonna happen. All right, let's get back to this. Let's pull the camera back about there and then get a little closer look at this little teeny tiny box and little baby box and get it unboxed. All these cool troop builders. All right, there's the Black Series logo. There's Phase 2 Clone Trooper, Battle Droid. And there's the bottom and the front of the box. Flipping it to the back, you got the Black Series logo again. Same exact artwork there on the troopers. And there's your label. All right, let's set it. I don't know how you... Okay, it looks like you do these two pieces of tape, and then it just kind of flips over. I hope. While I'm cutting that tape, just want to say if you're liking this video, if you could give it a like. If you enjoy action figures and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to Hey With That On My Shelf and get tons of action figure unboxings, toy hunts, uh, shelf tours, uh, all kind of fun stuff, action figure-wise. Uh, yeah, it'll come on your feed if you subscribe to the channel. And if you have a fun comment, that is always greatly appreciated. With that said, let's do it. Yep, open just like I hoped. Plastic free packaging. And you get your mummy wraps again. I haven't seen these for a while. All right, I think that's everything in the box. Yeah. I don't see anything underneath. There's a white piece of paper. That will live there and go straight to the trash. All right, let's, uh, let's get what's in here. Whoop. All right, there's those other antenna, or you could either throw the backpack or this antenna on the back of the battle droid. 
this looks like uh, some blasters and a backpack for the battle droid. Oh, all blasters. Okay, so you got your backpack with retractable antenna. Whoa, whoa, I dropped it on the floor. Of course I dropped it on the floor. But there it is. And then you got your big old blaster. Technical term is big boy blaster. <laughs> I never remember the name of these blasters. That's for your Phase 2 clone trooper. This is for your Phase 2 clone trooper. The little boy blaster. Technical term. And then the battle droid blaster. With backpack peg in. Where's the peg? There it is. So you can kind of just peg it right, right into that backpack. There it is. All right, let's see. Let's go with the battle droid first. Whoop. All right, he was teepeed. All right, so this is a clean deco battle droid, which is kind of cool to get, because my other two battle droids have a lot of battle, battle damage. His head is not moving very good. There it goes. It's just a really tight ball joint. It is weird to see him a clean deco, though. It almost looks funky. I don't know. There is at least some silver I'm seeing in some spots. So that's good. Doesn't look like anything on the legs, paint wise. Looks like just a little bit on the arms. Yep. And then here on the torso. And then, of course, the eyes. That's all the paint you get on this guy. I mean, it is a troop builder, army builder, cheaper set, so. That is what it is. Let's get, grab this other battle droid. So this is how it normally looks weathered and stuff. With the silver and the browns. Back. Yep. This is a clean deco. Alright, let's throw him over here and let's look at this. Phase 2 clone trooper. Whee! He's going to throw up after that. Alright, let's see. I gotta get that helmet off so I can see the head. Yep, I like that. It's not too shiny. It looks really good. So if I was afraid it was gonna be the, the... Let me go grab my other Phase 2 Clone Trooper and I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. I will be right back. Sorry, I just wanna get this guy stood up. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I grabbed some more troopers. I grabbed Apo. I grabbed the Socus Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And I grabbed the other Phase 2 Clone Trooper that was a single release. Um, let me take the helmet off and show you what I'm talking about. Come on. Is there a special really? There we go. So, this one, let me get a focus. He's got a funky beard. I mean, a cl clone can grow a beard, that's fine. But if I'm going to do a troop builder, I don't want him to all have a beard. Some stubble. But he's also really shiny. Really, he's got a sweat going. And I don't really like that. This one's much nicer. It's a much... It, it's it's more like Apo. Let me grab Apo real quick. Yeah. It's not too shiny. Actually, yeah, this one's got a little lighter skin tone than that one. I mean, I like them both, but yeah, it's more like Apple as far as, um, I don't know, I feel like there's more detail in this one. Like, I can see more. I don't know, this might be my favorite clone head so far. Let's see what the Ahsoka's clone looks like. I can't remember. Ugh. He is another shiny face, like an uber shiny face. He has been doing some laps. He's got a sweat going. So yeah, not not my favorite head. This one, this new, this this two pack for a reduced price. I think this is my favorite head. Looks great. Nice. That's cool. All right, let me get the other helmet. I was holding his helmet, and then I don't know if there's any difference. This was the standalone clone trooper helmet, and this new one. Well, there might be a little difference. One is way wider, so this one's wider. This one's got a little bit of, I don't know, it's almost like brown compared. 
Otherwise, they look to be exactly the same. I figured they would be. They're all painted the same, which is nice. I was kind of worried they'd omit a few paint spots because it's a cheaper figure, but I guess not. Very good. All right. So there's that original release Phase 2 Clone Trooper. And this is the new one. All right. Let's go ahead and do some articulation while I got them right here. All right. So there's your head. Let's get focused. There's your head up. I'll do with the helmet and without. There's your head up. There's your head down. Mm -hmm, right there. Side to side, very good. There is a ball joint down in the bottom of the neck, ball joint in the top. This is the exact same clone body as all these other three guys here. So if you own any one of these, you're gonna know it, it articulates exactly the same. So I'll go through it anyway for those that don't know. But uh, yeah, so you got a ball joint down in the bottom of the neck, ball joint in the top of the head. Let's throw the helmet on. And then there's your head up with the helmet on. Head down, helmet on. Doesn't wanna keeps kind of popping up because it is so new. Side to side, looks great, fantastic. And then this newer trooper style where the it's not glued in down here, it's pegged in with the, uh, the shoulder there. And it has butterflies, and you've got a peg and a rocker there for the shoulder going into those butterflies, it's great. Um, and it has the bicep cut right there. A uh, single joint on the elbow, this hand looks funny. There we go. Single joint on the elbow is just a peg and a rocker. Then you've got an up and down rocker on the hand. Same with the other hand. Actually, no, it's a forward and back. So you've got an up and down on that hand and a forward and back on the other hand. Then you've got your hula hoop action here. There's the back. There's the forward. Side to side. Spin it around. Get it ready to go. It's great. Uh, no, no, no waist cut in these. It's just all the movement is right here on the hula hoop. The leg has a uh, has a bicep. What am I talking about? The leg has a ball joint down here going in. There's your kick to the side. There's your kick forward. There's your kick back. Then you get a little uh, nice thigh cut action there with that armor. It's nice and hidden. Looks great. And then you've got your little more than 90 degree there on the, in the knee, which is a peg and a rocker there. Very nice. And then you've got a peg and a, a, peg and a front facing pin. Front facing peg on a rocker for the foot. Man, I forgot what I was saying. Looks good though. He looks just like the uh, other release of the. Uh, actually, he's got. Okay, so this one didn't get painted right there. This was the uh, single release in the Galaxy artwork packaging. He didn't get any black right here. We got black painted here and on the other guys. That's interesting. So this actually the cheaper trooper has more paint on it <laughs> really and i enjoy the head better anything on the back that's different it's looking to be the same so really i think that's the only different oh the side so this has black in the clone helmet this has silver and i'm seeing apo has silver in his and that has silver too so i don't know if it's supposed to be silver so this first release is not nearly as good as this uh this cheaper trooper two pack that's interesting so yeah i'm gonna have to fill that in myself black i didn't even notice that was supposed to be black the legs and the feet look to be about the same paint wise yeah okay so it really is just this that that's silver i might have to redo mine in silver like this and then paint that little piece black so cool i'm, I'm glad to see that this release is actually really good nice I might have to get another one of these from the Disney store when I can come up with another 40 bucks <laughs> NECA Holophon just happened last month and ooh, that, that was that one wiped me out I was wanting to do some more toy hunts and stuff but I hate doing toy hunts on zero dollars I always got to have at least about uh, 30 to 50 bucks for a toy hunt because you never know what you're gonna find and you don't want to leave it sitting there it oh I couldn't imagine finding something that's amazing and just leave it sitting there so, not doing any toy hunts, maybe the last week of May, but probably going to be the first week of June. Uh, with that said, let's uh, let's look at this battle droid. So it is probably going to be the exact same articulation as the other battle droids that we've seen. Let me throw his backpack on. So there's just two holes here, and then it just pegs these two peg in. That, or you could have the standard single 
antenna if you didn't want to do the backpack. So you could also do this too if you wanted that look. But I usually just use the backpack. And pull the antenna up. Alright, so for the head, it does pull out and it has this weird, it's just kind of pegged in down there so you can spin it when you need to. And then it is on a little rocker right here. I need to move mine in, I'm not sure I did that. And then up top you've got a ball joint. Mine is being, there we go, it was just really tight. But it's moving better now. Moving much better. But yeah, it is just a ball joint up there so you can put your head up, head down. It does have this, it's on a rocker. I always knock mine off the other troopers, the other battle droids I have. This, this always falls off. But I'm not knocking it off on this one yet, so that's good. Um, for the arms, you do have just a peg and a rocker there. So it's just going to spin and then rock on you too. No bicep cut or anything. It is just a, uh, let's see, it's, it's just a rocker right here. So you can rock that way or that way. There's nothing really stopping it. Um, there is a peg on this side, but not this side, that allows you to rotate, and the hand can go up and down as well and rotate. Same with the other arm. Um, looks like we've got a peg and a rocker up inside of here, so you can kind of rock it this way or that way and spin it on that peg. This is super soft plastic, so it just kind of bends with it, and it works. And then for the legs, we've got a uh, ball joint going in right here, so you can kind of move it a little bit. Uh, that way, and of course it'll kick out, kick back, all the way. I mean, he's made the made the fold up, so he can he can move anywhere he needs to on this this joint here. The knee is that uh, just a single uh, pin right there, but it can go all the way back like this folded up. It'll also go kind of forward too, but it is just a uh, a rocker. There is no peg, so there's no swivel movement here and here. But the foot is the standard front facing pen and a rocker but there's actually a rocker not really a rocker uh, peg going up into there too so you can you can move it here and down and there so there's a double pegs on that rocker for the foot all right very cool glad to have more battle droids more more uh, clone troopers i don't think you could have enough honestly so the fact that they came out with this two pack at a reduced price is a cool, cool deal. I am super happy that it's a thing. Very much so. Um, let's move these other troopers out of the way. I know they're cool to look at. Maybe I'll throw them back up here in a minute. For now, I just want to have these two be the main focus. There's the battle droid. There's the face of the clone trooper. There's everything that comes with the battle droid. There's the splasher. There's the backpack. There's other antenna. And then the two blasters, big boy, little boy blaster for the phase two clone trooper. Of course, his helmet is on. That's everything that comes in this two pack. And I think it is pretty awesome. It is a great, great army builder. If you don't have any clones or battle droids, this is the one to get. Grab it, because it's cool. Like I said, this is the other battle droid that has the weathering, which I like. It is cool, but it's cool to get a, uh, I kind of like having the clean deck though, honestly. If I really wanted to do any modifications on this to give it some weathered look you could do that yourself which i kind of like it's pretty cool um yeah so it is exactly the same articulation as it is just with less less paint but actually kind of prefer the less paint um and as far as the phase two clone trooper we saw that it has actually better paint apps than the, the single release which was 25 dollars and then if you get this at disney.com for 40 that's 20 so it's like yeah, that's the one to get. So, very cool. But that's everything that comes in this two-pack. Let's wipe those accessories away and throw some other figures for scale. Sorry, I smacked the camera around a little bit. I've got a super battle droid here. I'd like to throw him in. He's super sweet. That one came in the two-pack with the B1 uh, battle droid uh, C-3PO with his C-3PO head. Well, I got him right here. Why not just throw him in there, too? That'll work. How about just those two? Um, there's room in the middle. Uh, room for one more. Who should I get in here? Let's go 3 PO for scale. You can sit right here and one up. All right. Very cool. There is your Battle Droid and Phase 2 Clone Trooper 2-pack. Stay tuned for some posing. Thanks so much for watching.